Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons, or welcome to Mr. Stewart's Lessons if you've never been here before, because we're starting an exciting new project called Build a Library of Useful Classes. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a lot of classes that we're, that we're going to be able to reuse over and over again that do common things that we want to be able to do, like move around with the arrow keys, pick up objects, shoot lasers, and all the things that I've already shown you how to do before. So we're going to redo some things, but we're going to do them in an exciting new way. And we're really going to take our, uh, our uh, object-oriented Java programming language to another level. But this is not an advanced lesson. Everybody should be able to do this. It's not, it's not necessarily that hard. So what I'm going to do, you notice I started from a blank screen because we're starting from scratch. We're going to start with a brand new Greenfoot project. So ignore what was there before. I'm going to create a new scenario here. I'm going to create a new scenario and start from scratch. Just ignore what was here before. I'm going to create a scenario. I'm going to make a new one. Okay. And uh, the scenario is going to be called move with arrows. Okay. So this is my new scenario that I'm creating. And I'll get rid of whatever was open before. Okay. And I'm going to, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, you notice, so uh, you notice I have my world classes and my actor classes. And we're going to do something new here. We're not going to make either one. So a world class, right, that's, uh, you know, uh, both of these are, are classes. And everything in Java is made out of classes. And classes are little chunks of a Java program that can do things um, or, or that have information or that know things. And each of these classes is capable of doing its own things, right? The world class can do things like uh, add and uh, like uh, add objects and uh, things like that. The actor class already knows how to do things like move up, move, uh, turn, point in a direction, things like that. So it has these classes that are already built. Now we're going to make our own class that does its own thing. And what it's going to do is it's going to move an actor with the arrow keys. And here's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to make a world or an actor. I'm just going to go to edit and I'm going to go to new class. I'm going to call this class move with arrows. Okay. It's my new class move with arrows. Notice down here we have world classes, actor classes, and then we have other classes. This is a class that's neither a world nor an actor. It's an, uh, a class that we're putting in all by itself but I can still edit its code. I'm going to open it up. Okay. So when I create a new class, right, some, uh, it's some stuff's already going to come up here. We got some comment stuff up here. Um, and, uh, also I'll call it, I'll just, um, and then I'll, uh, version 1.0, uh, I'll put the description in later. Now there's some extra stuff here. Public class move with arrows. This just describes our class. Private int x, that's something it adds in automatically, which we don't actually need. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then down here, we have a sample method that they've created. We also don't need that. I'm just going to get rid of that as well. Okay. All we need here is the constructor, which we'll use in just a sec. But we need to do something first. Um, I don't know if you remember, but if you create a new actor up at the top or a new world up at the top, it's going to tell you may, in, do input greenfoot import greenfoot dot star. That's basically, and we're going to have to put that in here as well. All this does is uh, by putting import greenfoot dot star, which normally happens automatically when you create a world or an actor, we're, we're just giving it all of the stuff that greenfoot can do, like make actors and make worlds and all of the things that actors and worlds can do, like move and add actors and things like that. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here. Okay. So I'm going to move, if I'm going to move with an arrow, I need to move a particular actor with that arrow. It needs to know what actor, because this is not an actor. This is just its own class all by itself. So in order to move an actor with an arrow, I have to actually uh, uh, 
move, tell what actor to move. I'm going to put in what actor I'm going to move here. So what I'm going to do, I need to, this here, but this is the constructor. Okay, the constructor, when you create a class, basically sets it up, right? And by creating this constructor, one of the things I need to do is I need to say here, I need to put in a constructor where I actually say uh, uh, what, what I expect to get when I create this class. And what I expect to know is what actor I'm going to move. So I'm going to say actor A, okay? Now, we're going to assign, so what that means when I do this, when I create a new move with arrows class, I need to tell it what actor it's going to be moving, all right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say actor, my actor equals null. And then down here inside move with arrows, I'm going to say my actor equals A. So what happens is it's going to get, when somebody creates this class, it's going, we're going to pass it an actor, tell it what arrows, what actor it's going to move, and it's going to, uh, uh, and, and it's, it's going to assign that actor to this my actor variable so we can do stuff to it. Now what we want to do is we want to make a method, right? And it's going to be a method that's going to move the actor. So I'm, and all the methods and everything here has to be public because it's being called from some Thing else. Up till now, you haven't, we haven't talked too much about what public and private means. Public means it's public information. Anybody can use it. Other people are going to be calling this. So, so I'm going to say public. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to move, return anything. It's just going to, so I'm going to say void. And I'm going to call it, um, I will call it move actor with arrows. And um, this method, one of the things it's, and I, I just called it move actor with arrows, so it's not exactly the same name as the class. Um, and because that's what it does, it's going to move a particular actor, particularly actor A, right? Um, so it already knows what actor it's getting. Um, but the other thing it's going to want to know is how fast we want to move it. I don't want to just say, you know, say when I say move, I don't want to just say move five because I'd like this to be a versatile method. Sometimes I want to move fast and sometimes I want to move. So in here, I'm going to type int speed. That's how fast we're going to want to go. Okay. Um, and so when we call this move actor with arrows method, we're going to have to say how fast we're moving it. How many? So. Um, So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, so that, that we have this uh, variable speed that we're going to use, right? So I'm going to say, um, if greenfoot dot is key down, and we'll start with the right key, right? And so what this is doing is saying, uh, the, one of the methods Greenfoot has is is key down. So we're saying if it's true that they've pressed the right key down, then we want to first we want to set our rotation. We want to point. Oh, but we can't just say set rotation. Sorry, we have to say a dot, and then we'll do control space set rotate. Um, I'm sorry, not a my actor my actor dot and you'll notice when I do my actor because we've said my actor is an actor up here we get all of the stuff that an actor can do and one of the things it can do is set rotation there it is right and the rotation that we want to set it to in this case is going to be what to the right which is zero okay now I want my actor to move and we want to move whatever speed we were past. Okay. Now we're going to have to, we're going to do this for each other arrow direction. I don't want to type any more than I have to, so I'm just going to copy this three more times. Okay. So this next one, if Greenfoot is key down, uh, down, that means we're pressing a down arrow, then we're going to turn 
in the direction of 90. If we're pressing the left arrow, we're going to turn in the direction 180. And if we're turning on uh, up, if we're pointing up, we're going to go in the direction 270. This is our move actors with arrow, move actor with arrows key. And this is our whole class here. You can kind of see the whole class right here, pretty much. Okay, and I will uh, make this uh, easily downloadable so you can make your own. Um, up here, uh, I, I put in, uh, I, I put in uh, some. Um, this I, I'm going to add it in uh, some in directions about it, right? This part here, this is actually useful since this is going to be reuse, reusable. Um, this is actually going to go into the documentation. So we really should actually type the documentation. This says moves actor with arrow keys, expects argument actor A, contains move with actor, move actor with arrows method, expecting argument int speed. You may wonder why that's important. Watch this. I'm going to go to documentation and look what happens. There it is. See what I wrote in there actually goes in my documentation and here's my method summary. So the documentation is actually in there. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Now you may wonder what, how do I do, what do I, how do I use this, right? How do I use this? So let me show you how you can use it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm in my world. Here's my world. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, so this is now part of my thing. This other class. So how do I use it? I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to do a new world, right? So I'll just call it my world. Doesn't matter what I call it, right? And I'll compile that. And then I'm going to do a new actor. I'll just call it my actor. Doesn't matter what my actor is. I'll pick an animal for it to be. Let's pick an ant. Does, that's fine. doesn't matter which actor, which image I use, it's fine. Okay. Now, watch this. So, I'm not going to change my world right now. I'm just going to open up this actor here, right? And here's what's going to happen in here. So, I need to have this thing so I can use it, this move with arrows class. So, here's how I do it I'm going to say move with arrows. M W A. So we're creating a variable of the type move with arrows. That's the name of the class. The variable name is going to be N W M W A. So that could be anything. Equals new move with arrows. So we're going to do an open parentheses, and then we're going to say. Um, so we're going to mo new move with arrows, and we need to tell it what actor it's going to use. And luckily, I, since it's this particular actor, I can just use the word this. And this just means this, when I, whenever I use this in Java, it just means whatever object this is past this. And, and since this object is an actor, it's going to be happy when it receives that information. Now, down here in act, once this thing exists, let me just show you how easy it is. I put an MWA act, uh, uh, an MWA object in here. Now I just say MWA, and then we have all of the things that MWA can do, including move actor with arrows, right? So I'm going to say move actor with arrows. There it says speed. It knows that that's what it's expecting to get. So say I want to be able to move uh, five whenever I right. So this means I'm telling it every time I press an arrow, move five in that direction, and just watch how easy this becomes. So let me put uh, ant down, and we'll run it. And there's my ant moving around with the arrow keys. Now, you may be wondering, yeah, that's fine right here. It's in this particular thing, but how do I use it with something else, right? How do I put it somewhere else? And it's actually still very, very easy, but you're going to have to go outside of Greenfoot a little bit, right? So let me make a new scenario here again, right? Um, and I'll call it uh, use move with arrows, right? But this could be called anything. So anything that I want something to be able to move with arrows, right? I'll do uh, create. I'll create. So I'm creating a new, brand new scenario here. So this could be anything, right? Um, and so in here, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'll, I'll create a new world. 
right? So uh, let's create a background. Let's call it something. I'll call it, use blue rock and I'll call it rock. My world will be called rock. Okay. And then I'm going to create an actor. So I'll create a new subclass. Um, pick a different actor, right? Because we already used an ant. Let's pick something new, right? So uh, what else could we use instead of an actor? Let's use a ladybug. Okay. So I'll call this, I'll pick here and I'll call this ladybug. And I want to be able to move the ladybug with the arrows, right? So uh, I'll compile it. Okay. And now, here's, the, here's what's going to have to happen. I'm going to have to close this up for a minute, okay? I'm going to have to close this up, okay? And I'm going to have to go into my window structure, right, a little bit, which now if you're using an apple, you want to use the finder, right, which is the little, uh, uh, it's, it's usually down in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And if you're using Windows, what you can do, if you do uh, press the Windows key and press E, That'll work, right? Um, press the Windows key and press E to get to see a directory, right? You can also do uh, start and then do uh, go to computer. That'll also open one either way, right? That's going to, so if you're in Windows, and as, as I said, in, um, in a Mac, you would just be in your finder, but you're looking at your uh, Windows structure. Now you're going to want to find the folder where you've been saving all your stuff, and you should know where that is. So here's your Java right folder right here's my Java folder okay and what I'd like to do I'm gonna make a new folder that has all my useful classes right new folder and I'm gonna call it useful classes okay this is my useful classes library okay now in here somewhere is my move with arrows. You see this? This is the move with arrows. When I created move with arrows, this is I created this folder automatically. And so I'm going to double click on here. And in here, you see this move with arrows.java? This is what we're looking for, right? This Java, this move with arrows.java, if you open it with the text editor, you'll see there's our actual class, everything that's in there. If you open it with uh, notepad or anything like that, there's your all your useful stuff in there, right? So there's your, and, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, okay? I'm going to go back to my uh, Java folder that has all my stuff in it. I'm going to go down to my useful classes, and I'll paste it in here. So this is part of my useful classes. Now, I want to be able to use this, right? So we're, going to, we're just putting this in my useful classes folder obviously this is so we're going to be building up our useful classes folder so we can use it put so we can uh, use these anywhere so I'm going to copy this again and I'm going to go back to my Java now I created a uh, uh, use move with arrows class that's the new cl I mean the uh, use move with arrows project so this is the new project that I just created and I'm going to paste it into the project here that has right you notice it has the ladybug dot class and the rock dot class you see that those are all in there, right? So I'm gonna close that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open up Greenfoot again, because I was just working with the, right? And watch what happens. See, there's move with arrows down there. It put it in there because I copied it into the folder. I wish there was a better way to have it import this to do, so it, it didn't have to do it. We didn't have to go outside Greenfoot, but unfortunately it doesn't have that. But we're going to be doing this again and again, so you'll get used to it. So I'll press compile. Now here's my ladybug. I want my ladybug to be able to move with arrows. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do move with arrows MWA equals new move with arrows and again I have to pass the actor that I'm going to use so I'll say this and then I'll down here I'll say mwa dot and then you'll notice one of my options here is move actor with arrows and I'll put my speed I'll go a little faster say 10 and I'll say compile, I'll close it, and I'll, I'll compile, put a ladybug in there, and there you go. 
and this is the first of our many useful classes that we're going to add. If you want to see all my useful classes that I add, if you go to uh, MrStewart'sLessons.com, I'm going to create uh, in, in there a list of useful classes starting with this one. And um, I will have all my links necessary in the comments below. And uh, next we'll come back and we'll add move with air, we'll add move with the mouse. I'll see you soon at Mr. Stewart's lessons.